Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and we're back with another turn of American Civil War Strategic Command versus Lucy. And as you already know, let's go in together and see what the enemy did in the last turn. Okay, there we go with the replay. Oh, okay, nice that Jefferson City survived. Oh, interesting. S the movement on the sea. And some refreshments in the Potomac River. So no bigger events, at least from the other side. Um, yeah. As you know, I'm going to analyze the situation a bit, make myself some thoughts, and I'm going to be back with the pre presentation after. Of course, I'm going to read this to you. Brigade suffers attrition losses. Union warships in Hampton Roads blo blockade Norfolk. And then he went. Strategic advice. Mr. President, the border state of Kentucky has considerable importance in this war for independence. Not only is it home of thousands of sympathizers for our cause, but it also covers the most likely routes of an invasion into Tennessee, the Tennessee and Cumberland rivers. Despite our best efforts, the state's legislature has fallen under the control of Unionists who will block any further attempts to cause Kentucky secession. We must now prepare for the state's eventual sliding in the north, which is likely to occur in the next few months. Most importantly, we should begin deploying units in northern Tennessee so that important cities such as Nashville are protected. It may also be a good idea to invade Kentucky ourselves so that we may secure key locations such as Paducah before the northern army can occupy the state. This will require us to declare war on the state, which may be done by the war's map or diplomacy screens. Okay, yeah, we, it's basically a recommendation what we have been doing the last weeks and station some troops in Tennessee anyways, but yeah, I might over consider this for sure. Okay, I'll be right back with my presentation of my actions and yeah, I'll see what happens. Okay, everybody, we are back after the replay and I had a look on the actions of the enemy. We saw the attacks in Jefferson City, some refreshments here uh, on some attack here over the Potomac, uh, just a little trial attack here, as well the warnings about Tennessee and so on. And yeah, nothing really big, but yeah, let's just do it one by one. And we're starting in New Mexico, since this new front suddenly appearing. And yeah, we see there's apparently here also a tiny regiment from the Union side. And we have our regiment here. These are the volunteers that formed here in Messia. Um, I think I want to protect here this this bridge, uh, this this river crossing. I doubt they can move here around through the mountains. It would be too many action points. So just like move up here. So this is basically a standoff. And I try. This was the main primary target here was the China mine, which provides two MPPs per strength, or so probably twenty. So in case we take it, I hope there's no protection here. Let's just try. Wonderful. So yeah, this is some extra MPPs and some missing MPPs for the opponent for the moment. Um, yeah, like to support this entire action, we've been moving down this brigade like the last turns, as you remember. Uh, we can bring it only to Braunfels, not to this one, but yeah, we're gonna bring it to El Paso soon. Since, yeah, the Union, I doubt that there might be um, yeah, reinforcements coming down from the north, and so sometimes per event they get like, first of all, the Apache might join the Union. And also, um, which like where's the Apache? Oh, they're at zero, so yeah, uh, should slowly move towards our side. Let's see. Um, and there's an event where Californian troops arrive here in this area. I know about this, so yeah, we need will need the reinforcements, and there will be troops here. So, but this was at least what I wanted to achieve: a quick uh, like takeover of this mine. This was the main primary target around here. Okay, let's go. Keep on going. We saw, we here at Fort Washita. We saw we saw that these dudes here attack the regiment and they attack the Choctaw Indians. We can go for a one-one trade-off. I mean, they have supply five, so they could resupply here. Um, I'm kind of happy to do so, to be honest. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> bad against the odds. Bad outcome for us. Let's maybe just protect this city a bit. Yeah, I don't know if I can take forward, take forward what Sheeta with these um, cavalry units, but uh, at least we keep them busy. Okay, let's continue here. Um, here I forgot last turn that I can't go this way into the Indian territory because it's the neutral. So I will 
take down either here for this side or for here. I feel a little bit unprotected here, so I think I move them back to this, so to bring them up here and to protect a little bit this area for us. So, okay, up here we have to reinforce Jefferson City to 5, so yeah, the chances are getting, like, the readiness and the morale is going down turn by turn, so at some point I expect them um, to definitely to surrender, which will lead to surrender of Missouri and all these territories will jump back to the other side, so for to keep our supply open, we need to clear it up very quickly, quickly these lanes, these streets, which makes our position up here a little bit too up north actually, but I find it quite nice in for a couple of other reasons. So yeah, I'm gonna designate kind of this cavalry brigade to, once the situation flips, to ride up this street to open it up very quickly. So I bring the cavalry actually here, close to the border. And these dudes here, these regiments, I, I think it doesn't really have a fighting power, but I will place them here to protect the mine, basically. So in case any fast unit comes here over the plains, we have at least some protection. Um, yeah, and now some kind of unexpected thing that happened is, like, we were riding down here to just cut off these boys a little bit, or they're not fully cut off, I assume. But we saw that Cairo, which is an excellent center of operations for attacks from, which is Illinois, and here's ten. This is Kentucky, and here's our Tennessee. So we can attack here into Illinois, and since this is a fighting spirit objective, and quite a yeah, big town where they can also, I think you can definitely this Union can uh, station troops here. So I'm really, I think this is a mistake that the enemy didn't see that my troops were here or forgot about this area. So even though it costs me five action points i don't know if i can get them easily out again but just the fighting spirit is a great idea and it will hinder them to put down troops here in the area which will be advantages for us to push like at least here to secure these areas so yeah we'll definitely take cairo let's see like i have one more movement so yeah i don't know where i'm gonna go Maybe I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I definitely want, I originally wanted them to open up this road here after it's for the same purpose as the other uh, cavalry. So this is kind of random that this happened. Um, nevertheless, to kind of support those guys and that they're not going to be cut off since this is a division and therefore has some value, I will send these dudes down here from Fort Davidson to Cape Girardeau, Girardeau to have this like still one open. I doubt there's gonna be an attack like on this one, but still this fort I wanna be I want to be fortified, so I let these dudes the dudes from Waynes will march over here to Fort Davidson, just in case. And those dudes here sh uh, I plan to replace them kind of with these ones here in Carthage. So yeah. I mean Waynesville is not an important position. This can be also like a very good fallback line here, and there's nothing valuable, so maybe I'll take price down here. And bring those guys up here so yeah they will take the position here in lebanon or in like waynesfield hope whatever makes seems possible while those here protect this and these ones try to open up the lanes so for the moment i think this is a halfway acceptable situation here um since the enemy also doesn't bring or like has his units bound around jefferson city and if uh, yeah, they want to attack this city they will not have the capacities to push very like immediately down south so this should be fair enough. So yeah, this is like um, very surprising. Um, yeah, this is surprise is success. And yeah, before you like start renting against the opponent, like still we're like she's a beginner, and I try to teach her all my best and like always give her tips if I see things. For example, I told about Jefferson City, but please don't be too hard since I feel like I'm still challenged already. And yeah, and also I'm making probably tons of mistakes. So <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at Tennessee here. Um, so yeah, we already have some brigades here in position for... Uh, let's turn it. Can I bring them to six? Oh, interesting. Might actually do this since we, we have, according to my plan, MPP, or like excessive MPPs at the end of the turn. So yeah, you know, some some units that are in good supply... Where's the difference? I'm a little bit supplied, uh, surprised. Why I can so why I could bring those guys to six and those ones not? Maybe because this have experience, yeah. And I can bring them to overstrength, which is for fortress probably six. And this is a central uh, fortress here in the defense of Nashville, so I'm kind of tempted. Let's do it. 
six. Okay. Um, apart from this, I mean, this gunboat here is in a good position, and this cavalry. Um, this is gonna be interesting to grab a lot of a lot of land once Kentucky joins the war. So maybe I'm not really planning on a preemptive attack to be honest right now. Let's see how she reacts over here. But at least I would love to have a HQ or two divisions for an attack. So I'm not gonna go with this lousy brigades. Um, but this cavalry might be useful for this area. So let's just like have it here so it can ride. Maybe take these uh, this this area here, Bowling Green, Glasgow, Columbia. Maybe this is a good task for this cavalry brigade okay um, so much about the west if I haven't almost did I ever see anything no this looks good like I think I've done my job in the west let's have a look to the east so here nothing big happened we saw reinforcements so basically the Potomac river front as you see is solidifying itself we are like basic bad outcomes only the armor train can be attacked with some some success but I'm not sure if it's really wise to exchange MPPs like this because we were not gonna have a breakthrough we could just damage it so actually I'd rather stay in this position the troops like our reserves are nicely spread maybe yeah, maybe I can could I could but one I should have one reserve in this area. Maybe one here is nice. Here this attack we can't reinforce this one. Nope. This HQ I wanted to be in this area, so let's mark make it march. Um, this brigade just stays here at supply five, digs in and protects this bridge, this, which is good and essential for this one. Um, so far, so good. These guys are now like did a good job. These were the heroes of the Alexandria pocket, but now they they need to be refreshed a bit since they did also a great scouting job here. Bring take them to Winchester, so they can be refreshed next turn. Beauregard, we're attacking here actually. Hmm. In which mode is he? Auto assist. Auto assist. Okay, that's good. Um, let's have a look at the supply. Maybe I wanted one further up, so this one is also in good supply, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring it here. Yeah, they're on six next turn, which is nice. And I was thinking to take, let this brigade basically take the job of this regiment here just in case and take this one down to a position like here in West Virginia where really not a strong fighting force is required and the moment doesn't really look like there's other units incoming so you know like because there's no enemy to be seen to be honest but I want to show you the supply situation it's very difficult here so this this um, brigade of course I could move it up to Sutton also or to this areas but alone it doesn't really has any value there and of here's supply coming from the cities that's nice but I feel like here it's on the other wrong side of the river doesn't get any uh, defense value it could defend Charleston maybe Maybe actually if the enemy doesn't show it's an interesting idea to to take this one down here and then move this one to Charleston and have here in Charleston a good defensive situation. That actually is a good plan. But shouldn't it be this unit? We also have our rangers here for this uh, this area. Who? Okay, let's move the rangers from Richmond up here, definitely. They were planned, designated for the Appalachians from my side. So yeah, let's keep stick with the plan. Um, these dudos can just move down. This brigade is going to fortify itself here in the hill, hill forest position. Yeah, I mean, of course they can cross the river here, uh, but what they're supposed to do with this, like forest and no good supply, so I, there's not a big threat of these three brigades crossing here. It's like they won't push further than this, with worst, in the worst case, and they can always withdraw this reserve, for example, and try to deny this. And they could consider actually filling up here the entire line. Maybe that's smart, because then we have a, at least from this side, I want to be safe. 
Okay. Not caring about the reserve anymore. Bringing him those, and then we move this a little bit more central. So it could help out at other places as well. Yeah, this is, that is like a good setup. I'm happy with this one, yeah. So this is nicely defended. Um, the only way to cross the Potomac without their friend fires here. Great stuff. Um, good one. So, yeah. Here, you remember, like, the enemy made the mistake of moving this one up. So now it's, like, cut off supply and out of supply. I will refresh, however, just this one because there's no threat in anymore. And here's a 0-1. I'm not making any damage because Fort Butler is still here at the CC Max in trench 4. So it's quite entrenched, or it should be... Or at least I can't deal any damage, but remember, I have the artillery incoming for October. So this is when we can start thinking about attacking the fort. Um, up the, until then, I will just refresh this and damage this one time. I wasn't really sure um, what happens if it dies by itself, if I still get the bonus morale hit, uh, fighting spirit. Because at the moment, this one is just a supply zero and it would get one damage at the end of the turn. So if I hit it here, I had a 3-1 uh, expectation as well. So if I would hit it with six and the one is left and dies automatically, I don't know if I get a bonus. And this is the reason why I'm keeping him alive another round and let the boy suffer in there. <laughs> Yeah, sad. Um, yeah, still no free brigades where, where we could to protect any of these uh, special um, areas that I wanted to. So basically, this is everything on the front lines that I... Oh, I was just talking uh, like a long time in this video about this brigade moving up to Charleston, but I didn't, so uh, let's do it. And this one goes here, yeah. This is actually perfect because he is like he would come with very low supply and even the uh, regiment could protect us. But you have the mines here, which is dangerous. But I don't expect, and we still have time to react from here. Maybe I don't expect a very strong move from here. But let's see what happens. I can't, um, yeah, take everything into account because we simply don't have to have, do not have enough troops. Okay, we have one new ranger unit to place. Um, yeah, where to place is the, <laughs> is the good question. Oh, oh anyways, this one is a, not a self-built unit. This comes from the... Oh, yeah. By went, I guess. So, apparently it's for El Paso. Yeah, so let's keep them here and uh, make them go to... Ah, it's just... It doesn't... It actually can't spawn it there. It just indicates it's always green. Okay. This just was deceiving. Anyways, I will put them down in San, in San Antonio because this seems to be the place for them. So we can bring them to New Mexico next round, which is nice. Our after that brigade, however, but still reinforcements for here. Okay. Um, after this, we're gonna spend our very last 150 MPPs that we can do spend up to the maximum of 3000. I was talking about it a lot and you know, there's like option cavalry tactics, there's core organization, there's field telegraph, there's uh, infantry tactics we have already twice, there's good options. But despite the extra cost and I was talking differently last round, but I feel like at least I want to have the scouts and uh, the skirmishes and to make our offensive troops a little bit stronger and get this moral bonus, moral attack bonus. So yeah, I will get one hit shit on skirmishes. So therefore we had like 3000 maximum spending. So we have to wait until something is done, probably spying and intelligence. But since, as you remember, I see kind of an edge uh, maybe for us in this field. So I will keep on pushing it. So the enemy has a, a minus when researching. So let's see. Okay, we have 830 left, um, and I checked already what we can buy. We're gonna be kind of boring, let's say. And just get another division as well. Just we have one, and maybe we get one per event, so which trick around. I will also get this one mountain division. Okay, which leaves us with 230 MPPs, which we could spend on ships or an armored train, which I'm absolutely not interested in. So nothing at the moment. Also, the Indians' cavalry requires 275. So none of those is really like possible right now. I was for a tiny split second during I was 
just making these turns, thinking about spending like another chit of maybe here in the Apache to make sure they join our side. But I'm not sure. Or rather, maybe actually even in a European power for 200 to push it further could be also an option. Well, well, well. <laughs> Let's have a look. Or we save it up and order more troops next turn. It's like probably an just greedy and you want to make, of course, you want to be uh, MPP efficient. So you want to spend them, not have them lying around without any value. But I think for one term I can wait and maybe we have more options next turn. If not, I'll think about spending it actually a diplomacy, maybe getting one. Let's see for a second. Maybe once we're already on it, let's have a look how much we're getting from these... Uh, Actually, at the currently from the convoys, 16 from Britain, 20 from the French, and 13 from Spain. Um, and how much do they have in total, actually? Is there a difference? 16 MPP is 100 plus... Twenty. So if, actually, I feel like France would be the best partner, or England, I guess. If we want to invest diplomatically, and, and because when they, uh, you know, when once their um, value here moves up, also the the amount of the supply is going up with the depending on the relation. So, would be kind of interesting. But yeah, no, we're not in the phase right now. We, um, yeah, I'm hoping on troops. So I'd rather spend the money in building more troops soon. Okay, um, so I kind of think that is it. Like the last little overview maybe turn on the refreshment side if we forgot anything and this is kind of a surprising success he really like taking Cairo here could give us a certain edge in the area let's see at least we got some extra fighting spirit or destroyed the others which is always helpful which is nice okay looks good so let's finish the turn yeah, Union, <laughs> Union Fighting Spirit forced to do the loss of Cairo. And we sign a Treaty of Friendship with the Creek. So, oh yeah, okay. Okay, bad that I moved this brigade over there. Same with the Cherokee. Okay. St Stand Wady organizes pro Confederate forces in the Indian territory. Oh, we're even getting an HQ. So, this, oh yeah, why not? Union occupies eastern shore of Virginia. Oh, this is pretty went probably. So they took these. I uh, didn't even know that they controlled this, to be honest. So yeah. And they block Norfolk as every round. Okay, now they have raiders in the UK and the France route already. And we're losing uh, five in France, so it is still bearable, but yeah. Okay, that's it for this time. Um, I hope you liked it. Then, yeah, qu as always, questions, comments, um, and uh, good ideas, um, criticism, please in the comments. Like and please like me or <laughs> give me a subscription. And then I'm happy to see you next turn. And it's gonna be only getting more intense and more interesting. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.